What's going on guys? We just finished unlocking the Infinity Rope sets, the Master Wand, the Mage's Book, basically everything from Mage Training Arena. This took us about seven hours total to grind everything out. Probably the longest grind we're gonna have to do uh, within leagues. And we are just so excited to have this banged out. This is such a big upgrade. It's gonna be our last upgrade before getting Ancestral um, and starting to do raids. And uh, yeah, every single clip that I recorded at the Mage Trading Arena, um, I lost all of the audio. So that's why we're kind of speeding forward to this clip right here. But yeah, we did knock out quite a few tasks. We're now at 2260 until our next relic and then 90 tasks until our next area. So we're just gonna speed through a bunch of uh, Slayer tasks just to test out uh, this armor. It's absolutely busted. It's so fun doing Mage with this and it just looks so freaking sexy. But uh, yeah, that's where we're at so far for the start of the day. And uh, let's keep it going. There's a task for casting Ice Blitz. Another task for defeating Obor. Should be a task for getting a Slayer task from Konar. Task for Pedal Teleport. Task for Ice Rush. Here's Ice Burst. Hey, is our first unique Amulet of Defense T. It's gonna be a task. And then I think equipping one is also a task. Yep, trimmed Amulet. We're just killing a Necromancer. Stealing a Chocolate Slice. Just obtain a gem while mining, and then also successfully cutting a red topaz. Just picking a cabbage. Just casting bones to peaches. There's client of Karend task done. Just completing a friend of Hasidius, 40 points. There's entering the woodcutting guild, another 40 points. There's brutally murdering Conrad King. There's queen of thieves complete. There's 100% Piscarilius favor. There's our first 95. There we go, 99 crafting on the account. That is officially our first 99. So a bunch of points there, and now we're just gonna sell off these emeralds, and then I think just work away at some more quests in Karend, and just get as many points as we can. Uh, we are currently at 1240 points until our farming relic, and then 68 tasks until the next area. So we're gonna try to bang that out today so that we can have all that unlocked for tomorrow, and then just focus in as hard as we can on getting all the unlocks for our best mage gear, and then getting prepped for raids. Uh, so yeah, let's jump into that. Here should be another task for drinking from Tears of Gethix. Here's crafting a rune on an altar. And then we're just gonna sit here and get 50 runes crafted as well. All right, here should be a couple other tasks. Crafting a fire rune. And then I think we can craft a combination rune as well as a lava rune. So that's three tasks total. Here's our first medium casket. Hey, climbing boots and an ancient cloak. That's a new best in slot cloak, I believe. Hey, fill five medium clue collection logs. Another task. Another task for lighting some colored logs. Who's making an attack potion? Who's equipping a lit harpy bug lantern? Praying at an altar in mulch while poisoned. There's depths of despair completed. Who's dying a cape orange? And there we go, there's base tens. There's a task for a summer squirk. Base level 20s. There's a winter squirk. There's an autumn squirk. There's the last one, spring squirk. Bunch of points on those tasks. Let's keep it going. There's the easy Karend and Kebos diary. There's slaying 250 slayer creatures. Hey, there's friends of Shazian. 40 points for 100% Shazian favor. There we go. Finally got our Xerix talisman. I think we went like three times dry on this, uh, which is pretty unfortunate, but now we have some nice um, efficient teleports around um, Karend. I was going to speed things up a little bit, but uh, yeah, let's put this bad boy to use. Another 40 points for equipping a Xerix Talisman. Another task for drinking a Lizard Kicker. There's a Tale of Righteousness done. There's the Ascent of Arceus complete. Here's pickpocketing a bandit in the bandit camp. Here's pickpocketing a Manifite Thug 50 times. Mining some more with the Rune Pickaxe. There's obtaining a Clue Geode while mining. Creating an Anti-Poison. Hey, Holy Sandals. Gain 10 Uniques from Medium Clues. Very, very nice. Headbanging with Cat Silk Kook. Equipping a full rune set. There's crafting 200 essence into any rune. There's mining 30 pieces of granite. There's equipping a full dehyde set. Apparently a green dehyde body T doesn't work. There's defeating a wall beast. Another 40 point task. I did not expect this to be the last uh, point task for our next relic, but we're three ticking some swordfish in full infinity to get our next uh, 40 point task. And that's gonna put us at enough points for our next relic. So let's just bang out uh, these last couple of swordfish quick. I think we need four more. There it is. Catch 50 swordfish. And we are now at the tier six relic. 
And if we go into the relics here, we're definitely going to be going for the Farmer's Fortune. Uh, let's just get this pesky little rat off us. But yeah, I think Farmer's Fortune long term is going to be the best one for us. It's just going to instantly give us 99 farming and herb lore and all of the different materials we need for uh, potions and whatnot. So let's go into the relics here. Farmer's Fortune. You can harvest patches at a rate of up to 25 times per action. Uh, noting any t contents you receive, all patches will give three times yield. Farming patches grow instantly. Your patches will never die. And you have 20% chance to not use a seed or sapling when planting items and patches. It's absolutely insane. I think the other two options are definitely nice. Equilibrium is just an XP boost overall. And then Ruinous Powers gives you that nice uh, new uh, prayer book. But... I'm just going to stick to the regular prayer book. We're already going to be doing uh, Chambers of Xerix to get those additional uh, prayer scrolls. So let's uh, lock in Farmer's Fortune. We also get um, some extra multipliers, I believe. Items from some sources will be four times as common. So yeah, let's go grab this and let's get it going, baby. I'm so excited. Confirm. Oh, baby. All right. That's going to be tier 6 relic unlocked. And I think that's going to be it for the video for today. 7,500 points and 27 tasks until the next area as well as the next relic. So let's go bang that out. That's it for today. I love you guys. Peace out.